first. They took your family and your riches. Then they took your health and your pride. Finally, they left you to die. What will you do, Exile, when there is nothing left but to live or die? Hello, this is Sausage Fingers, and welcome to Conan. Here we go. Right, I'm going to read this out because this is important. You've chose us. You've chosen to join the. I can't blah, blah, blah. You've chosen to join us on this early access adventure. Thank you. The game is in early access, and you may encounter bugs or performance issues. Over the coming months, we will constantly be updating the game with new monsters, treasures, crafting recipes, advanced city life, buildings, landscapes, combat, and all that malarkey. Right, this is early access. It is broken. They know it's broken, and it will be fixed as we play it. Okay, let's go. Right, I have had a game you might have seen on my live stream with Marky. What I have found so far is... Right, the only thing I'm really having problems with... I'll show you my settings quickly. You can pause them if you want to see. The only thing I can't find a way to do is to stop my stuff decaying. Like my equipment, if I hit something with a sword, I have one fight and my sword's dead. Hit two rocks and your axe is dead. Have one fight and your shield is dead and you have to make a new one. But, I don't know, they might they might rehash that. Let's go anyway. Okay, right, I'm going to be a geezer because I'm a geezer. I'm not going to be a slaphead though. Race and religion. Okay, another thing I've found is, if you're going to make a clan, I think you all have to be the same religion. I know what I'm going to be. Chitin, powerful sorcerers. Look, hopefully there'll be magic and stuff added at a later date, but I don't know. I'm going to be Krom, god who requires no worship. My favourite. Gods of serpent sacrifice, gods of cannonballs, god of right and justice. Now, I've tried to cook human meat. I eat my own dead body, but I can't do it. I wonder if God of, of if you're a yog, if you can. I don't know though. Right, we're gonna stick as Crom. Voice. Cut me down, please. I don't want to be Batman. Hey! The God's death. Death is cut me down. The God's. Ah! <laughs> yeah, he sounds like a lunatic. Yeah. Right, I'm gonna be brown because I've got brown hair. That do yeah. Eyebrows. Um. Don't want to look like an evil villain, really. Jesus! Don't want to look like a werewolf. In fact, yeah, I'm going to be a werewolf. Look at that, son. There's some serious eyebrows. Ginger eyebrows? <laughs> you know, dark, that's it. Facial... Aww. Can we not have facial hair? Cosmetics? Nah. I don't want cosmetics. Face details. Jaw. I'm going for that. That's awesome. Look. Yeah, freaky. Body features. As you can see, there's no winkies or boobies in this. I can't. I don't want to see me plums flapping about bat in the breeze anymore. I'm going to go mid. Physique. Got, got. Hey, look. Breast size. He looks all right. He's, he's hench. He's all right. Endowment, hung like a badger. 
finalised character. My name is Sausage Fingers. That's where you change it. I'm the Chitin. I'm condemned to death and exile for crimes including punching a camel, fornicating with low beasts, cheating at dice. I would never punch a camel. Oh well, let's carry on. Check me out. Much I remember, but much have I forgotten. I've been in a far land across misty voids and gulfs and unlit oceans. Zaltan Fendin, a python. During the year of the Cobra, a prisoner captured by unknown means was transported into the exiled lands, crucified and left to die for crimes that they may or may not have committed. Death comes swiftly on black wings. Until fate intervenes. This land is not love, man. Shall I cut you down? It might kill you. That's Conan. <laughs> it might have been kinder to leave you on the cross. We will meet again. Right, okay. That was Conan. It was very, very quiet, his voice. Not The, uh, the other in-game voices aren't that quiet. I don't know why that's like that, and I can't turn it up. So, yeah. I have played this briefly, as you probably know, on my live stream with Marky. The idea of this episode is to get a house set up so that Mrs. Sausage Fingers can join us. So, I know basically what I'm doing. There, I've gained a level. Let's get stuff. Listen to the noises. It is freaky as ten men, this game. I need all of the stuff. Look, there's a water bottle. I'll have that. I am beaten. Left to rot among the ruins of the past. There are others here. Slaves. Bandits and cannibals. Exiles from lands I've never heard of. Some of them try to scrape a life from the wasteland. Scrabbling in the rocks and sand for their own place. I cannot go on. The life that I left behind haunts me. The sun over the glittering spires of Belverus is forever denied me. The smell of my daughter's hair. I will pass the ghost fence. And this cursed land will finally end me. To whoever reads this note, I leave the last of my water and this message. Stranger, you have my pity. You do not know how cursed you truly are. Thanks. Now let's go and read this other thing. Look at this. It's, look at this game as well. It looks stunning and it runs like an absolute dream. The frame rate is immense. Behold, Bonded One, the very boundaries of civilization. Beyond the passage of our highways lie the wild places of the world where untamed savages make endless war upon each other. You cannot pass into the endless wastes enslaved. Your bonding prevents it. Return. Follow the road. Any road. All roads lead to the city. All roads lead to the city. All right, son. We've got some work to do. Now, I don't know if you saw that while I was doing that wet. What level am I? Uh, let's have some of this. Oh, unspent points too. Now, what I'm going to go for is strength because we are absolutely pathetic and vitality in the old fightiness front. I've got some insects. Sweet, I'll take them. Got me a little school note. Got my water bottle, like that and all. I've set it so that I don't drop items when I die, which is nice because that's such a pain. There, we should have some clobber in a minute and all. Look at these suckers here. It's been shot in the hoop. Bet that hurt. The dry desert winds have mummified this poor wretch. The arrows embedded in his leathery skin cannot be removed without breaking them. I need some sticks, that's what I need. 
branches. Here we go. Check this out. I'll have one of them. Oh, what else do I need? I need some stones. That's <laughs> easily sorted. I've got a crafting queue going on. Right, top left. First one's health. Second one's stamina. Third one is foist. Fourth one is hunger. The next one is experience points, obviously. And the next one is weight. When it's in the green, it doesn't affect your movement. Then it goes amber. It does affect your movement. You slow down a little bit. And then you become encumbered and you can't move on red. Like I said, you have to be in the same religion to form a clan. Which is kind of cool. Makes sense. Come on. Look, I'm all, I'm all clad already. Let's have a look at me. I don't know how to change the view, unfortunately, but there you go. I've got tools now, look! <laughs> they are like primitive weapons as well. Look at this sucker up here, let's go and have a look. All branches. Come here, you punk! That's just wrong, innit? Messed up, son. Messed up. Gods cursed this sandstorm. We were forced to take refuge before the wind scoured the skin from our faces. There is something in the storm. Beasts. We hear the skittering of their paws outside the ruins, and their howls mingled with the screaming winds. The men are scared. I've put them to work crafting rudimentary weapons and torches from the loose stones and rough plants that dot this place. I've yet to meet a beast that liked fire, or the bite of the axe. Should have made that. So should have made that. Oh, I can. It took me probably an hour, 45 minutes to get the, to unlock this amount of stuff yesterday. I should start coming onto the map now. Yeah. Look, every time you die, if you haven't got a respawn point, this is where you end up somewhere in the desert. Not necessarily here. I think this looks really nice, this game, already. We need more bushes. There's one of them punks down there. They aggro from quite far away, them things. Let's get a shield on the go. Look, you can take a, a certain amount of shelter under obstacles. Which is really cool. I've gained another level, man. I think I might have this set too high as well. But it's good for the purpose of videos. Level 3. I've got that. I've got, that. I've got all of this, look. Let's get some houses. That was the aim of today. Look, level six until I can build chess pieces and stuff. Look, you've got to be a certain level to build stuff, so you can't just hack away with experience points. And then you need the, the, the points to build it as well. This took me hours to get this far yesterday. Let's check this out. Look at this! Hey! 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 I'm finding the combat a little bit lackluster at the moment. Well, I'm sure they're going to work on that. There's a bed on the go. Now I want loads of this. Here comes one. My first fight. Come on, punk. Look at him, ugly dude. Hey. Dead! Dead! Heal him. See what I mean? That's like a quarter of my sword dead already. One poxy little battle. Not good. I am hungry and I am thirsty. Let's eat some bugs. 
bed, you go in there. Did I make a shield? I did now. That's going to take a while though. Well, I want to get down to the water's edge. It's just down there, look. Keeping my eye out for punks. I have found as well, when you get aggro, they will follow you till the cows come home. They follow you forever. It's so hard to get rid of them if you can't kill them. You need the aggro music. Oh! Hang on, I want to get my shield out. Did I dead you? I did! No, you're dead. Look! Look at all of your death! I can hear footsteps. E to loot. I'll take that. Thanks. Now I'm going to heal you. I got hide from a people. Look, my shield's nearly knackered already. Let's go over here. I want to make a fire. Have I got the stuff? Blooming hell, look. 50 of them and 30 rocks. Level up. I'm all good for rocks now. In fact, do I really want to make that yet? In fact, yeah, I will. Another level, thanks. Well, let's have a look. Survival is a measure of your ability to live in harsh conditions. It affects how easily you metabolise food. That's a good one. Encumbrance, that's obviously that's your weight. I'm going to go for that one this time. Grit determines the size of your stamina pool. That seems really, really important in this game. Every time I fight, I run out of stamina pretty much. Accuracy, ranged weapons, vitality determines the size of your health pool. Agility is agility. It has a direct effect on armour, apparently. And strength determines the damage that you do in melee. That's going to be handy in the night time. Have I got enough for that? I have. Weapons! White sun. Is there an indicator of how much damage a weapon can do? Oh, great. Right, who's having it? It's you, you little sucker. 